In this video, I'll show how to enable SMS notifications for your Shopify orders. Once set up, your customers will automatically receive a text message with their order details and tracking link after every purchase. And you will get instant notifications about new orders as the store admin. This guide is for Shopify stores that get fewer than 300 orders per month. It's a cost-effective solution. If your store receives a higher number of orders, then you can use one of the Shopify add-ons available in the Shopify App Store. We are going to use Twilio to send text messages, and it charges based on uses. To connect Shopify with Twilio, we need to use a third-party tool called Make.com. The free plan is enough for our use case. It offers up to 1000 operations per month. So you will only be paying for Twilio based on the number of orders your store gets. Let's get started. First, you need to sign up for an account on Twilio. Twilio doesn't ask for payment information when creating a trial account. Once you are fully ready, you can convert the trial account into a pro account. This is my trial account and I have some free credits to test the process. After signing up, Twilio will ask you to get a phone number for sending text messages. This only takes a few clicks. I have already got my phone number. Here is my Twilio phone number. We will need the account SID and auth token from Twilio to connect it with make.com. Now create an account on make.com. It doesn't ask for any payment information either. The free plan includes 1000 operations per month, which is enough for sending text messages through Twilio. By default, the Shopify checkout page accepts only an email address. We need to change the settings so customers can enter either the phone number or an email address. On the dashboard, select settings, select checkout. Here, under customer contact method, change this to phone number or email and save the settings. Now the customers can enter a phone number. On make.com, we need to create a scenario. I'll click the create a new scenario button to get started. Let's rename the scenario to Shopify SMS notification. First, we need to set up the trigger. Our trigger will be a new order in Shopify. So whenever someone places an order on the Shopify store, this scenario will run and send an SMS. I'll click this plus icon to add the trigger. Here, I need to find Shopify. In the search box, I'll type Shopify. I can see the new event trigger under Shopify. This triggers when a new order, product or other event occurs. I'll select this trigger. Now we need to create a webhook to connect make.com with the Shopify store. I'll click the button to proceed. I'll keep the default webhook name and click the create a connection button. For the connection type, I'll select Shopify. I'll also keep the default connection name. Here, we need to enter the myshopify.com subdomain from the store. This is different from your main Shopify store domain. Let me show you how to find it. On the dashboard, under settings, select domains. The store is currently associated with the domain permination.com, but this is just a custom domain. At the top, you can see the myshopify.com domain with the subdomain. I'll select this. Now, I'll copy just the subdomain part from the URL. Now I'll go to make.com, here I'll paste the subdomain. And now I'll click this save button. This opens a new window to establish the connection with Shopify. It will install make as an application in the store. I'll click the install button. The connection is now complete. In the event field, we need to select which event should trigger this scenario. I'll search for order. Here, I'll select order slash create. This means the scenario will run whenever a new order is created. I'll click the save button. And then I'll click the save button again to confirm. We are now ready with the trigger. Next, we need to fetch the order information and send the SMS notification using Twilio. I'll click this run once button to test the trigger. After running it, we'll see what kind of data this trigger pulls from Shopify orders. So I'll hit run once. Now I'll go to the store and create a test order. I'll click this buy it now button. I'll quickly fill out the checkout fields to complete the order. The order is complete. Let's go back and check the scenario in May. 
we see a successful window, which means the trigger worked. Under operations, I can expand the groups to see the data it fetched. Here we'll find all the order related details like customer name, phone number, order ID and total price. I'll click this plus icon to add the next module. I'll search for Twilio. I'll click this show more option. I'll select the create a message module. This one is used to send SMS messages. Since it's the first time we need to create a connection with Twilio. I'll click the create a connection button. I'll keep the default connection name. For the SID, I'll go to the Twilio dashboard. I'll copy this account SID and I'll paste it here. For the auth token, I'll go to the dashboard here. I'll copy this auth token and I'll paste it here. I'll click the save button. The connection is now successful. Under send a message from, I'll select phone number. Under phone number, I'll select the Twilio phone number. This phone number comes from Twilio, the same phone number we have here. Now where do you want to send the text message? I'll click on this two field. It shows all the data the Shopify trigger fetched. We need to carefully look through this data to find the customer's phone number. In the search box, I can just search for phone. Here I can see the test phone number I used while placing the order. So I'll select this field. Under message body, I'll select create a body. Now we need to design the text message template. I'll paste a template here. This is a sample text message template. You can design your own template the way you like. We'll now replace the placeholders inside angle brackets with the actual Shopify order fields. Let's get started. First, I'll delete this first name placeholder. And here, I'll search for name. I can see the customer first name here. So I'll select this field. For the order number, I'll delete the placeholder and here I'll search for order and this is the order number. I'll just select it. For the product name, I'll delete the placeholder first and here I'll search for item and here I can see the name of the product. So I'll just select this product name. Now for the order total amount, I'll delete the placeholder. First, I'll search for the currency. This is the currency. For the amount, I'll search for subtotal. And here I can see the amount field. I'll select this. Finally, we need the order status tracking URL. I'll delete the placeholder. And here I'll search for URL. Here I can see the order status URL. I'll select it. The text message template is now ready. I'll go ahead and save this. I'll right click and rename the module to message to customer. If you want to send an SMS notification to the Shopify admin with the order details, we need to add another module. I'll click this plus icon. Under Twilio, I'll select create a message. Here I'll select send a message from phone number and under phone number, I'll select the Twilio phone number. In the to field, we need to manually add the admin's phone number. Make sure to include the country code at the beginning. For the message body, I'll select create a body. And for the body, I have a template. I'll paste it here. I'll quickly replace the placeholders. For the order number, I'll delete the placeholder. And here I'll search for order. And this is the order number. I'll click on this. For the product name, I'll search for item and this is the name of the product. I'll select this field and for the order total, I'll search for subtotal and this is the amount. I'll save this module. I'll rename the module to SMS to admin. The scenario is ready. I'll click this save button. We need to turn on this option immediately as data arrives so it works for new orders instantly when the order is placed. The immediately option is selected. I'll click this save button. The scenario is completely ready. Under scenarios, I can view all our scenarios. Here it says the scenario will start immediately when the specified event happened in the service. In our case, it's a Shopify order. 
Let's place an order and see what the SMS notifications look like. I'll select this product. I'll click on this buy it now button. Here I'll enter the phone number. I have added all the details for the order and now I'll complete the order. The order is completed. Let's wait for the text messages. Here's the text message to the admin. It contains the new order details, order ID, the item name and the price. And here's the text message to the customer which contains all the details we designed the template with. The text message notification setup is complete. This scenario will wait for the trigger and send the SMS whenever a customer places an order. You can turn it off whenever you don't want to send text message notifications. Under connections, you can delete the connections as well. That's the end of the video. Please check out the other Shopify videos on the channel. Thank you for watching.